What's up guys, welcome back. So today we got Demon Slayer, Ume and Gyotaro. That scene when they're brothers and sisters, when they're young, uh, when they help each other out. <laughs> it was really cool backstory for these two. They're kind of like if Tanjiro and Nezuko had a different life. It's kind of like a mirror image of one another, dark and light sort of thing. It's really well done. So I love this kind of moment in, in the anime, so I thought I'd draw it. Why not? <clears throat> I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand, okay? So I'm gonna start with their faces kind of in the middle of this straw protection that they built for themselves um, to stay safe from the cold. Uh, you know, they're kind of huddled together. So I'm gonna start with Kiyotaro's eyes. Easiest place to start, I think. So center point of my page about here, just come up over to the right. I'm gonna start with a horizontal line for his eyes. So, so they're real sort of big downturn sort of eyes okay and we got like a little spike at the front spike at the back and then we just come over the top lines like that coming out the sides and then you just shade this color it dark so then his eye itself just like this kind of U-shaped kind of thing, just curves around underneath. And there's Iris, he's looking down, so it's just down around here. And he can't, does he have a pupil? He can't really see his pupil. Don't know if he has a pupil, but there's an extra like dark blue circle, so we'll just draw that in there. Eyelid line just above. Curve it down that way. And then we'll go over and do his other eye. So say just here. Right, kind of slanted down, sad looking eyes. Go up, bring it across, down, and then colour it in. <clears throat> then we have the U shape again for his eye. Up, kind of goes up behind his nose, right? So there's the bridge of his nose is kind of here, so it's just like drawn in like that. And then his eye looking down. Like so. Eyelid line. Like that. His eyebrows are kind of hidden by hair and stuff, so we'll draw that maybe last. Because he's got this straw thing coming across his head as well. So, yeah, nostrils just here. One, two, and then some sort of hatching just on the side of his nose here. Very simply drawn sort of face. And then his mouth. Curves around. Like so. He's kind of smiling a little bit, trying to keep Ume calm and happy. And then this goes around the bottom. Mouth open, teeth visible on the inside, right? So he seems to have these bumpy sort of sharp teeth. So, and then some sort of stress lines around his eyes, like so. Bottom lip line, just there, and then his chin, around like so. So he's got this sort of really curved U-shaped kind of face, right? So it goes up this way, meets hair up here, so stop it about there, and then the other side goes up. And we can see his jaw on this side. We can see a little bit more of his face. It goes up like so. Okay. So 
so is hair, right? So it comes out from underneath this wicker basket that's on top or something. So let's say, right, so there's like a hair spike here. See, it comes down onto his face, back around and up to there. It was underneath something up here. So I'll, we'll just stop it kind of half up his head. And then another spike here. And there appears to be a sort of a long one that comes down his head here. Like that kind of thing. And then this goes back up. So it goes out, back up along here and then underneath that basket and then we have another sort of hair spike here sticking out like so and then another one up here and then one like flicking up this way and then goes underneath his head there and then a hair spike on the side of his head here And then he has all these dots and stuff on his face, right? All these, I don't know, I, I, I don't know if it's a disease. I can't remember, what was it? I think they mentioned it. Lines like so. And then, bumping all around his nose and stuff here. These poor guys, huh? What a life. No wonder they turned into demons. No one there. Who wouldn't? <laughs> and then his eyebrows kind of turning down this way. Okay. So they're kind of like crossing the way. Downturned kind of eyebrows. And you just thicken up the middle part. A bit skinnier at the end. that right so ume or daki as we know her is down here okay so you just leave a sort of a gap she's got say like a hair spike coming down from his chin and it'll give you the distance to the eyes right it's like the middle of her hair and we've eyes either side just down here okay so big sort of female eyes so real curvy comes around like so and then spiky sort of eyelashes on the edge. And then you thicken it up. Color it in. Real big eyelashes then. Right, so her eye, so the, like her, she's crying, right? So you can't really see her bottom eyelid, okay? So you can just kind of see her eye. So they're these big circular eyes. My eyelid just come around. Like so, not perfect circles, so it's easier to draw for us. They're just these sort of angled. And a pupil in the middle, right? And she's got these tears, so just coming down from here, like these sort of blobby kind of things. Tears welling up in her eyes, okay? Kind of like that, right? So, real. Like so, right? And then her other eye, just over here, curve around again. Similar sort of thing. It goes under hair on the side here, but we'll draw it in and then we can fix it later. You're just doing the same thing on the other side.
Right, and add some eyelashes again. Like so, and then big sort of teary eye. Right, and then sort of just welling up sort of tears in her eye just down here. Then her nostrils and her nose. So just in between the teardrops, say. Here. And then some shadow on the top of her nose, like the bridge of her nose. Like so. And so her face is mostly covered by hair, right? So and her chin is covered by the, the wicker thing that's helping them out, right? So you can't really see much of her face, but we can see her mouth. So she's open, she's kind of, her mouth is open, she's kind of in shock, right? It looks like a sad mouth at first. Keep going, open it up, bring it around. Like so. And then her teeth comes across the top here. And then her chin sort of line there. Right, so we can just draw in the rest of her hair and then some of this wicker that covers her face, right? So we have more hair spikes up here. Coming down from Gyu Taro's face. This one comes right across her eyes there. To there. And then you can add, sort of in the gaps, we'll add eyelid lines and eyebrows and things. So we'll just finish the rest of the hair here first. This comes down this way. And then like another line. And the wicker comes right across her face. So let's see. We'll just finish her hair sort of here. It's a hairline. Another hairline coming up this way. Okay, and then it's kind of like eyelid line just here. Like so, and then eyebrows downturned again, so like down here. And they're paler, so they're like white. So a little bit that you could color sort of in here. Okay, and then her chin cut off by the wicker wicker basket. So you, you just draw this coming down across her face here, the other side. down in there somewhere. This will come up around their faces. Boo -doo -boo. So there, and another line inside here. And so, now, all we've left to draw, really, they're totally covered, is all this wicker, right? And how it comes across Kia Tower's face. So, I guess I'll do that first. So starting, we start up here. It comes out in, and you're just adding these sort of square-like shapes. It kind of reminds me of um, uh, Zenitsu's hair. These sort of square lines with these spikes sticking up into them every now and then. It just goes across his head.
right there and then so the inside of it comes down across their faces here Boop, that way and that's that line so then what else can we see the gear tower shoulder lines maybe just like a line inside here and then there's an outside spiking part so it comes out along here right so it's just you make it all sort of spiky and hairy and along this way like that and then this wing comes along the front of these so now I'm doing this really fast but like I'm doing it really fast because it's kind of you don't have to be that detailed with this you know it's just a general shape and then the outside edge of this right so we've got Eventually we will meet some snow. I think this inside joins this. And there's all snow here. So it's all bumpy and then coming down the side this way, right? So just do the top. So comes out like snow and then we meet like this bumpy sort of snow sort of stuff and it's just drawn in kind of white and you know, it's real bumpy like that and then like snow coming down the middle if you have more room of course you can bring it to the top of their heads and then snow kind of comes Sort of round, sort of cloud like shapes. This is all snow now. That's all white and sort of grey, sort of shaded. Maybe some more hair going down there. Another little blob of snow somewhere. No, that, that's enough. And then we'll go, so we'll go down this way. Bumping down, meet like a blob of snow. the page and then we have these lines texture lines that come across right so it's like a line like that right and texture bumping lines that come across these so say like here that's a double so it goes That and then down from here. Another up here somewhere. Yeah, like so, and then something coming across here. And then up here, so we just gotta add all these textures now like that and then coming down there say here we go and that can 
feeling that way. No, I'm not done this way. So this is just now the texture of the, the basket itself, okay? Then something here. Another one here. Mm, on top. Side here. And then they have all texture lines on them as well. So like all these kind of lines that go up this way. down here as well. Okay. Now, if you want to like tidy up any lines, you can. But that's basically it. That's how to draw Gyutaru and Ume. Put it up under the snow. God love them. <laughs> Good characters. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.